hey guys my name is Matla Jamini and welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscriber welcome you're very much welcome and if you are a regular subscriber thank you for coming back so we are in the midst of doing a five things series so this is just a vehicle for me to share different information that I know and also other personal stuff to get to know me so I hope that you enjoy so for this episode we're talking about five things I wish I knew before I started working and um, this is very important also from an HR perspective what do you like what industry do you want to be in all that information is really important for you to know and understand for yourself so that when you go into the world of work you're clear on what you want and you are not doing too much to explore too many things because you also don't have a lot of time you have time but you really don't have time so it's really important to know um, what direction that you want to take in your career and use that as your roadmap or your plan to navigate the world of work so the first one is that burnout is real it's real and if you don't get control of your personal life and your work life and really get a balance between those two you will land yourself in hospital um, it's not it's not healthy to try and overdo it your body can't take it your body needs a certain amount of hours of sleep in order for you to be productive and your brain to work you need to eat sometimes we can sit in front of laptops work throughout the day forget to eat forget to drink water and that's not good your brain is a machine so it needs the nutrients it needs the rest in order for it to work so burnout is really real and i think it's, it's really a conversation between your manager and yourself because sometimes we work ourselves to the bone thinking that it's impressing our manager but when you pass out <laughs> that's not going to look good on your manager so it needs to be a conversation to say i've reached capacity i'm not able to do this and you figure out a way or a routine on how you can bring in work and control it also so that there's a there's visibility of what you need to do um, before work is or new work is assigned to you so really take care of yourself um, it's something that can creep in so really take note of it and watch out for it um, you, you don't want to work yourself to a burnout while you're still young um, use yes you put in more energy more effort while you're still young still build, building your career but it's important to establish a balance from the beginning uh, because when you are 20 years into a career you don't want to then start learning behaviors that will pull you out of this whirlpool of stress and burnout and anxiety so really take care of yourself when it comes to to work and time your your work properly time management um, and performance management also i guess goes into there like when do you want to achieve certain things have a timetable for yourself if you're the organizing type but be sure to reach out to your manager um, they are the ones who can help create structure for you so that you don't feel burnt out so the second one is um, basically just like in dating if somebody can smell your desperation they will take advantage of it so when you are in um, the interview phase or still looking for a, a place to go to a new job maybe a new role that you want to take be sure that in as much as you're eager but do you want to be there and if you know your worth and you know what you can offer you don't have to take the scraps so if people or hr or the recruitment agency is offering you a deal that you know is below what you deserve because of your experience because of the knowledge that you have because of the qualification that you have that's very important you can't just negotiate for the sake of negotiating if you don't have the minimum requirements then you don't have much bargaining power much leverage so if you have all of those things and you know your worth and you know what you can offer that company then just don't walk into that interview desperate if they say no this is what we have then it's cool it's really cool and that's why I think this is advice it's a piece of advice that um, I heard and received from an HR manager in my previous job where she was like don't look for a job when you want to leave always be in the market test out the market put your CV out there sometimes you take interviews not because you want to leave but just to see are you still competitive 
are you still um the knowledge that you have is still relevant uh to to the industry or or the career field that you're in don't walk into interviews desperate um they see it they can take advantage of it so if you know that you are there and you want a 15 percent increase if they offer you 10 sorry no thank you um and you might they have budget budget is there the budget is there so um they can play around with the budget if they really want you and i guess it's also a matter of be where you're wanted be where you're valued so if they are not willing and you know that you've worked really hard to be um in that pay bracket then don't 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 move unless there's a different reason that you're leaving because some people leave jobs because they want to stretch themselves they want to pursue another field or another interest so they will take a pay cut because that is going to expose them maybe to more um, management responsibilities maybe a different um, skill set that they're trying to to hone and and develop so those are some other reasons that people might leave but know what you know what you want and go into that interview um, or that that recruitment process knowing that this is what you want and you are not shaking you are not take taking because they can smell it they can smell it another one i'd say is that talking gets you noticed um and i say this not to promote people just babbling and just being mindless babbles at work but talking that makes sense like making valuable contributions um gets you noticed sometimes you know we can stand behind the the concept of oh my work will get me noticed but if you're not pushing your work and also maybe um utilizing the relationship that you have with your manager to help them push your work to make it more visible then you'll spend a lot of time not progressing or not making the move that you actually want to so it's also very unique to different people different circumstances even different companies but as a introvert like a natural introvert i've come to understand that i need to come out of my shell i need to speak i need to engage i need to talk to people i need to know who the secretary of so-and-so is i need to know who the manager of so-and-so is because that creates a rapport and it's not necessarily to force people to um do things for you but it's creating a rapport it's creating a network for yourself when you like the world of work is so small and the amount of times i hear that oh i was working with so and so here or oh you know so and so like we are all connected <laughs> in some way we end up working within the same vicinity and and industries and, and companies so if somebody knows you from a previous job and you were doing your best there are you performing and you also engaged and created relationships that lays a foundation for you in the next areas that you go in people can vouch for you i think be social be engaging network and use that to position yourself better um, to the eyes of different stakeholders in in the company the fourth one is that asking questions does make you look dumb it's actually when you ask a question it shows that you have knowledge about it because now you're you're, you're picking not picking it apart but you are now gaining an understanding and you're trying to piece things together so questions this is an indication that you understand you're just trying to piece things together for yourself so what does make you look less than smart is you asking a question that you should have known in the second month that you were here but you're asking it a year later then it's like what have you been doing this entire time so while you're still new ask the questions but also as you grow as you develop as you learn more about that particular project or the, the company the questions start coming so ask ask there's nothing wrong with asking a question and i think that's the misconception about when when people go into the world of work they think that oh no i need to know everything i need to understand everything i need to read everything by myself and understand it and process it no some people not even some people people are there at work to help you get on board and also understand what it is that you need to deliver so if you don't understand you're only just jeopardizing yourself in your own performance 
so do ask the questions and i think people do appreciate it that you understand you're engaged you ask questions so it's really appreciated so the last one we have is a common topic and that is of imposter syndrome and it is real and i think from the experience that i've had it's basically for me it's been a feeling that's caused because or comes from me not thinking that i deserve to be in a certain place or a certain position at that particular time so um, it is something that you know we have to work with internally because you've applied actually you've studied for it you've made the effort to know how it works what it is how can you apply it um, you either have the experience or you're still new to the world of work you've studied for it and you need the experience um, it's it you, you deserve it because you've put in the effort to be there um, so sometimes also when you're new to something you feel like oh people are going to out me because oh my god i don't know what i'm doing but everybody started somewhere literally everybody started somewhere your ceo started somewhere even that new managerial position is new to somebody when they started so it's something that we really need to work on internally um but it, it happens to a lot of people but you just need to talk yourself out of it tell yourself that you deserve to be here you put in the hours, you have the experience, you have the knowledge, or you have the desire, you have the ambition to make it happen, to perform the best that you can. So you deserve it. So this imposter syndrome, I shouldn't be here. Some so-and-so is better. And oh my goodness, even in sitting in meetings, like, oh, I can't say something after this person has just spoken. Did you hear what they said? Like, it, it's all about your understanding of what you can offer and knowing that it's valuable everybody has a valuable contribution to um, the overall objectives and strategy of a particular company so believe that and move in confidence move in that confidence and easier said than done but it's, it's a conscious practice that you have to to get into so that you can also perform because i think it can also hinder uh, the level of performance and delivery so be watch be watch of that one so guys those are the five things i wish i knew before i started working and it all comes with experience it really all comes with experience certain things you can't just learn out of a textbook you need to live it you need to go through it some tears when you come back from work some jubilation and excitement and celebration so it, it's all about experience and it will get better trust me it will get better so i hope that you enjoyed the episode do tell me if there are other topics that you would like for me to cover in this series but thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye